Hello everyone, you're welcome back. In my pot I have my pork, which I have washed already. And we'll start by seasoning this meat to make this one pot meal. I will be adding some salt into the meat. Some dried pepper. Some garlic powder. my chopped onions I'll be cutting in some garlic also some fresh garlic into the pot as well as crushing it with my garlic crusher just to have a bit of both I'll also be adding some bay leaves into the pot. I'll be adding some two bay leaves. A dash of extra virgin olive oil. some chopped tomatoes We'll put on our burner and start cooking the meat. The last but not the least, I'll be adding some Portuguese chorizo, which is also called smoked sausage, smoked pork sausage. This is the secret to this recipe as it gives it that smokiness that makes it wow when you eat it. This chickpeas and beans recipe or porridge is a recreation of what the Portuguese call hancho. It's a typical Portuguese dish where they make it just with chickpeas, but I added beans in mine to give it a twist. I'll then add some water to help with cooking the meat. My seasoning cube will be going in next. Let's check on our meat as it's boiling. It looks so, so good. So we just turn this together to make sure that everything incorporates and, and the last uh, the seasoning cube goes right into the meat so it doesn't stay on the top. 
cover our pot again and allow it to steam. I have also prepared my chickpeas, my pinto beans and some cabbage to go into the soup, into the porridge or into the meat that is uh, the meat stock. And as you can see, I have my foil which I put right on top of the pot. This was to trap the heat and to make the meat very tender as I didn't have a lot of time. So now I am adding my chickpeas into the meat stock. Stir this together. And in goes our kidney beans. Stir once more. You see how good that looks and it smells fantastic, I tell you. The recipe or the complete recipe will be in the description below so you don't have to worry about what you need. Or you can go to my blog or to my website to get a full detailed description on how to make this wonderful dish. I have also cut some cabbage on the side which is the last thing to be put into this food. I don't want to put it now so it doesn't change color so I just want the beans and the chickpeas to steam together with the meat stock and before we, before we put in our cabbage finally. That looks so so yummy. Finally, our cabbage is ready to go into the pot and that is the crowning glory of this dish. You are sure to love it, I bet you. We'll stir this in, make sure that the cabbage goes right into the pot to join the others in the party. Stir this gently before we put in the rest of the cabbage that we have in the tray. Wow. Hmm. Put the rest. Great. Cover this just to steam a little bit. It's not it won't even take up to one minute. And now we have our meal ready. Let's see. Wow. The porridge looks fantastic. And I can bet you it tastes even better. Give it a thumbs up because I know you're going to love this recipe. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. While hitting the bell icon so that once I post great videos like this you can be notified. You see how gorgeous that looks? That is the best thing to have. You can just eat and get full. As you'll be sure that you're getting all the nutrients you need. So I'm plating this this uh, dish to have a sumptuous meal, and I wish you could join me. But you can try this at home and tell me what you think. So this is what we have. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like this video. Bye.